that folks is the sound of a bust exhaust servo. So in this vid we're going to see how we fix that with one of these, a scooter net exhaust servo buddy. Stay tuned and find out how. Welcome back to this week's vid folks, thank you very much to you regular subscribers, to all you new subscribers, welcome to the channel and to you patrons over in the clan. I love each and every one of you, you folks are helping me out no end at the moment, thank you so much for your support. Anyway, on to this week's vid. I have a full Akropovic or Akropovic system. Because of that, I don't actually have the butterfly valve in the exhaust system itself, so the servo was redundant. However, over time, they do corrode, they do go faulty, and this one has uh, dropped its nuts and it is knackered. And that is what that annoying <coughs> noise you get the whole time the ignition is on doing my head in. So what we have to do is we've got to remove the original servo itself, plug in one of these, the ScooterNet servo buddy, so we don't get the uh, FI lighting, lighting up on the dash. It tricks the ECU into thinking everything's fine and dandy, which it is, you don't, you don't need the butterfly. I think you need it for MOT purposes, however, it's not a concern of mine. So let's crack on, get it done. Listen to this. That would normally be the uh, ECU priming everything, going through its diagnostics checks. That is this thing, the exhaust servo, and that normally turns, normally on the full standard system, there is a butterfly valve in there. Shut, wide open, shut, and move it to a, a position ready for startup. And that's what that noise normally is that you hear. Obviously on this, it's constantly doing it at the moment because the servo's pooped itself. So I'm gonna take this whole thing off. This all has to be unscrewed, unbolted, taken off, and then you fit the servo body in there. If you touch it, you can feel that thing just going. So what we've got to do is we've got to take off, uh, I think that's a T20 torsion, T20, one in there. This one's a bigger one, that one is a T20, one in there. This one's a bigger one, that one is a T25, I think that one. So we unscrew all them, and that should let us take this off. So we'll crack on, get that done. Once you've undone all the bolts, you can see there, there's that little hook. And there's a tiny little rubber grommet in here that that slides into. So you just have to slide the whole thing back and it drops down like this. Now what we've got to do is unclip this, take this off. So this sits in there like that. And all you need to do is get a little flat head screwdriver, pop that in there, push down that little clip and then give it a good firm grip and pull out and the whole thing will slide out like that. That's your servo and that is free apart from this bit. And to take this bit off, can you see that tiny little tab? You need to get a screwdriver in there and push that that way and then it'll slide out. Let me show you. Push that tab in and then push down. You see it start to move. Now we can just slide that off. And that is your exhaust servo. So there's that little log I was telling you about there. So it sits this way and that hooks into that there. You see it, this part, this rubber grommet thing? See it sitting in? So all you do to get it out is just, you have to slide the whole unit back and then it'll drop away. So now, all we have to do is take the servo buddy and connect that straight to this, push it all the way in, that's it, clicked. And that effectively is it. But obviously I'd want to tidy this up a little bit. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably just whack some cable ties on it. And now folks, the moment of truth. Switch it on. No noise. Silence is golden. Sorry Richie, I do like a sing song. No codes coming up, not speeding. Notice I'm not speeding. And if we hit the ignition. She runs like butter. All good. I mean, how easy was that? That was, even I could do that. That's how easy that install is. And 
still no noise. Watch this space, I'll keep you updated as to uh, how that goes. So folks, thank you very much for tuning in this week, another short one for you, but I hope it's been of some use to some of you. Keep on watching folks, thank you very much for the continued support here on the channel. Thank you very much for the thumbs up, the likes, and even the thumbs down. For all you Patreon supporters out there, Patreon ride out is coming soon, cannot wait. Details are on the Patreon page down below. Come join us if you're not there already. Alright folks, look after yourselves, keep on keeping on, look after those that you love, and remember, most importantly, live your life. Welcome back. This week we're going to be, well that folks is the sound of a bust exhaust. Thanks very much for coming back. As I said, this week we're going to be fitting one of these. Uh, thanks very much for coming back folks. Uh, as I said, this... Oh, no, 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 no.